2009 was not good. Lame. Because I was caught up in my own personal shit. And I didn't really pay attention to anything else going on. I would say that 2009 is a bit overrated. And why is that? I feel like the number 9 lacks significant meaning and that I made a few life choices, life circles, I went in, you could say. So you're going in circles in 2009? Perhaps. California's alright. I'll give it that. You just moved here? Two years ago. And so you feel like it still hasn't quite stuck? Exactly. It's definitely um, a culture shock that I'm still getting used to. I would say that 2009's great term in my mind is environmentally unfriendly. And why is that? Because of man-made disasters along with actual natural disasters happening in the year 2009. They both seem to collide into this terrible environment situation. What was the biggest man-made one you can think of? Um, probably all the uh, warfare byproducts. That's the first thing that comes to mind. Volatile. And why is that? Um, I think economically it was very volatile. I think uh, the world was in a lot of turmoil as far as um, different areas of war. Um, a lot of companies and a lot of personal turmoil, so it was very volatile. If I were to come up with a phrase that I think that applies generally to the world as a whole, this country in particular for the year 2009, I would say treading water. It's clearly not the case that uh, that we're in stride and uh, really moving towards uh, larger and greater things, but on the other case, on the other hand, we're not quite drowning either. We're treading water. So for me, 2009 would have to be Lady Gaga because she's amazing and she came onto the scene in 2009. And there's only two parts of my life: it's before Lady Gaga and after Lady Gaga. And definitely after Lady Gaga is much better. I would say the word that I would choose for this past year would be fallen. And why is that? Because I've noticed, like as the years have gone by, that this year in particular has really t taken a different road and almost they don't, it seems like they don't care as much about their education and more important things and they really... You're talking about students? Yeah, yeah, yeah students. You know, even in high school, what you would think people would be like more mature and more into their own lives. I feel like my friends in high school are more like dedicated to their future than almost in the university now. It's more about partying and you know what you did last night, how drunk you got, and what what drug you you took. And it just saddens me that there's not as many people that I've met, at least, that are really into what they want to be when they grow up and who they want to become. And no one's talking about their classes or what they're interested. It's more just what society expects them to do.